Hi, I'm having a look at uh, Two Step by Ed Sheeran. Uh, it's an interesting song to play. It's, it's, it's just got this one uh, repeated pattern and uh, listening to the song carefully, I think it sounds like he's probably looped it. So on the original recording, I think he played the sequence once into a loop pedal and then kept it going for the rest of the song. I don't know that, but it does sound like that. It's identical each time and it's, there's a little, um, chord at the end which is a bit tricky to get to and when you watch him play it live or on Instagram and things like that he doesn't play the tricky chord, he, he simplifies it. So I think maybe he just looped it once to make it easier and, and just for um, continuity I suppose. Anyway, so the chords, um, these are based on chords called tenths um, and a lot of songs use tenths, especially kind of songs from the last 10 years or so. There's a lot of kind of pop songs that use tenths. And these shapes that, that we're using are based on tenths. Anyway, just very quickly, the basic chords are E minor, G, D, E minor, C, B minor, C, and then there's an odd chord, which I'll talk about separately on the end. So the basic chords are quite simple. And if you happen to know bar chords, from the fifth string, they would be played like this, E minor, G, D, E minor again, C, B minor, C, and then the, the weird chord on the end that we'll get to. And what he actually does is, he doesn't play the full bar, he just plays, say for the first shape, for the E minor, which would be that, he plays this. So I've just got my first finger on the fifth string at seventh fret, third finger on the fourth string at ninth fret, second finger, second string, eighth fret. And then with the right hand, I'm playing fifth with my thumb, fourth with my first finger, and second string with either second finger or third, doesn't really matter, so you get this. Now on the original song it sounds like it's palm muted a bit, which is just where you rest the edge of your hand right on the edge of the strings here. You get this effect. So if I don't, palm mute, palm mute. If I go too far that way, it completely deadens the sound. So you have to get that about right. Anyway, so the pattern is five, four, two, five, four, two, five, four, five, four, two. So I'll do all of that, so it's. And then there's a tiny pause, which allows you to get to the next chord shape. And the next chord shape is a similar thing. We move along to G, which is 10th position. And we've got to change this one from a minor to a major. That shape's minor this shape's major, so it's basically take the second finger away and put the little finger, here it would be on the 12th fret of the second string. So these two are still in the same position. So we've got 10 on the fifth string, 12 on the fourth, 12 on the second. And then with the right hand, I'm just going to play five, four, two. If I put that together with the first part, it slowly it's like this. So from there we move down to D, which is exactly the same shape, but 5th and 7th frets, like this. So it's a good idea to do what I did then, keep your fingers touching the strings and just slide back. And don't worry if you hear a squeak as your fingers move. And then here we do the first pattern, the, the one that we did on the E minor. So it's 5-4-2, 5-4-2, 5-4, 4 2 And then we move to the E minor again, which was the first chord we did. So I've moved up to take the little finger away, add the second on. So that's six, uh, sorry, seven, nine, eight. And with the right hand, just play five, four, two. So the right hand's repeating a pattern, 
which is this. Move, and then again, move. So I'm going to put all four chords together. From there, we move to a C chord. Now, C is the same as the G and the D because it's major. So it's the little finger one, not the second finger one. And it's at the third and fifth frets. So I've got third fret on the fifth string, fifth fret on the fourth string, fifth fret on the second string. And then, as before, we do the longer pattern here. and this time we move downward, so back to second position, which is B, make it minor by taking the little finger away, putting the second finger on, and just do the small pattern, the, the five, four, two. So we'll keep building this up, so now I'm going to play where, we, where we're up to, so from the beginning. So we've got E minor, G, D, E minor, C, B minor. So then we go back to C again, so back to 3rd and 5th fret, remember to make it major by taking that away, adding that one. Do the long pattern. Now comes the, the weird bit. This is a, an odd chord. There's two ways you could kind of interpret this chord. Um, I'd, I'd say it's a B7 over D sharp. It doesn't really matter too much what the name of it is. I mean, you could see it as a, a kind of diminished chord, but I'd, I'd call it B7 over D sharp. And what we have to do, move up to 6th position, so this finger has gone to 6 on the 5th string. The 2nd finger needs to play a 7 on the 4th string. Little finger, 8 on the 3rd string. And 3rd finger, 7 on the 2nd string. So it might be an unusual shape, might not be a shape you're familiar with. And I must admit it's a little bit awkward to get to this one. Uh, and I'm, in a minute I'm going to talk about what Ed Sheeran does when he plays it live. So this one is different to the others because we've got four fingers on rather than three. So with the right hand we play five, four and then two and three together like this. So on its own out of context it sounds a bit weird that one. If I put it with the C shape it's... starts again on the E minor and the whole thing goes around again. <clears throat> and the reason, one of the reasons I think it's probably looped is because that last one kind of rings a little bit longer than the others. It's not this, it's this. And it's very difficult to then start the first one again in time if you let that ring for long enough. But if you were doing this into a loop pedal, the loop pedal does it for you. So that's why I think it's looped it. Uh, and also, when you watch him play it, I haven't seen any actual live gigs of him play, with him playing this one, but uh, he put it on Instagram and a couple of other things, and you can see what he's doing there. He doesn't play that chord. He does this instead, which is just a D, so like the C we did, D, which was one that was in the song earlier. And I think that sounds a bit boring compared to this. So if you want to make it easier, you can do what Ed Sheeran does and go. Uh, but I, I personally think it's, it sounds nicer. This one. But it's definitely harder to get to. So I'm just going to put the whole lot together now, slowly. That's it for the guitar in this song, um, that, that's, that's what it does, it just keeps looping around that. So I'll just put it a bit faster now to demonstrate it and I'll do the, the palm muting thing. 
So that's it. So quite a nice one to play. Uh, very similar to lots of other songs in terms of the, the shapes that we're using. Uh, I won't go through examples now, but um, but there are a lot to take my word for it. There's a lot of songs that use these kind of, kind of shapes, um, and the picking pattern is a typical kind of Ed Sheeran style picking pattern. Uh, so yeah, I hope that uh, that makes sense. And any questions on that, please put them in the comments. Uh, and uh, if you've got any other suggestions for songs you'd like to see lessons on, then just uh, let me know. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.